You know, you use relationships to talk about spiritual growth a lot. Are there other other ways that you would like to highlight for spiritual growth beyond uh, using relationships to get there? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a great question. As you said, I, I, I have a tendency to go a little bit more towards the romantic relationship side to get a lot of my lessons, but certainly we get our lessons from our work environment, right? Our colleagues, uh, what kind of work we're attracting, what kind of work that we're doing. Um, we also get them heavily through children, right? Through other, other love relationships that aren't romantic. Um, I think family is another big one that a lot of people get. I feel very fortunate. I, I look, I'm still getting, still getting lessons through my family without a doubt. But the thing that I feel the most fortunate about is that I have parents who were, I think, really uh, great great people to give me a foundation of trust and to really feel a level of unconditional love that that I might not have recognized was was as wonderful as it is until until I got out into the world and saw how a lot of other people actually don't have some of those really core um, family unit uh, unconditional love foundation feelings and so uh, I think family is is one of those real real tough ones for a lot of people um, yeah, so I would say that, and, and also health, health is another big one. Um, a lot of people call in a lot of health challenges, and that is also something that oftentimes gets us to a place where we have to pay attention. We have to take a pause, right? And I think the thing that is so important for all of us is to just really, really get in tune with ourselves, our body, our mind, our, our emotions, and to hopefully find those moments to pause before the big pause comes. And what I mean by that is if we don't actually heed the call and we don't listen to spirit and we don't, we don't listen to our bodies that we need to slow down, or maybe we need to eat differently, or maybe we just need more touch or we need, we need more communion with others. If we don't listen to those, those soulful callings, um, we know that we will attract other situations that will put us on our knees to actually listen, which means, you know, different levels of illness and, um, you know, whether it's something minor or something major, or maybe it's just a, something that scares us and jolts us and says, oh, wow, I, I really need to, to just see my life a little bit differently. Um, hopefully we don't have to get to the place where we're, we're a hundred percent on our knees and just really asking for another way, but sometimes we do that. I've done, certainly done that in my life where I've waited until something, you know, really, I had to pay attention and I had to get that particular lesson. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of different ways that we can, we can, uh, learn our lessons in our lifetime. It's just a matter of how we set them up for ourselves. 